Not to average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome back to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. And what do we got in front of us today, Pepper? We've got one of your top 50 games of all time. That is true. And you may be seeing that this is a first impression. Yes. So how <laughs> can that be? It's because That's I tough. had not played the game that until just true. recently. That is true. I could probably almost do a chippy on this one. Yeah. And I uh, maybe have to eventually, yeah. but... Um, we should have probably done a, You could do a chippy, i do a first impression, but we did yeah. not think of it. Well, yeah, we'll now. do this, because uh, I'm kind of interested to see your thoughts, because I feel like I'm I'm one that kind of likes these types of games a little bit more, kind of yep. the Euro-style games, um, and I think it's not that you don't like any, it's just I think they're a little more... You like some, and yeah. then yeah. others you're kind of just kind of middle of the road on type yeah. thing yep. Yep. Um, and then some you just despise <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we'll that's about 80 percent yeah. right there <laughs> we'll so. have to we'll have not, to see not if a good chance one of for coimbra <laughs> and it is coimbra by the way i don't know if we said the name yes coimbra. <laughs> it is coimbra and yeah if you want to check out our top 50 of all time to see where it is um you can find this one in my top 50 both in 2021 and in 2022 <sighs> so you'll have to check all of those videos out yes it's only going to take about 10 hours to figure out where it is. <laughs> but yes, it will not be in anyone else's top 50 in uh, mine or yours or Michaela's. Not but, in those yeah. two years, but maybe next year. Mm, maybe. But yeah, so kind of you can tell us a little bit about your history with the game first. Yep. So yeah, originally I had gotten to play this one uh, with my best friend Taylor. Uh, he had a copy of the game, and it was one that I think I had looked at and was interested in. Um, I don't remember, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember what about it made me think, oh, uh, I don't know if, I don't remember if I thought it might be too complicated with the tracks or something. Um, but yeah, I I can't remember what Tom Bassel's thoughts were on it. Because I'm guessing I would have looked at a review of that and for some <laughs> reason not been 100% sold at the time. Um, mm, but yeah, yeah, so then I, I've gotten to play it with him several times um, and... Every time I go back to it and played it, um, <laughs> it's just been a great, a great experience. I've really liked the drafting of the dice and also the drafting of the cards, or kind of a bidding draft, slightly oh, not yeah. really, but a little bit of a sort of bid yeah. draft in a way. Um, I like how that combination works together. Um, quite a bit, and then how you get the income from the oh, colored yeah. dice as well. Kind of just the combination of all those things coming together uh, just, I think, works uh, almost flawlessly. I, mm -hmm. I, I could see how some people might have issues with some of the yeah. stuff, but I I really like the way it all flows together. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and yeah, every time I'd played it, I really liked it, and I was like, ah, do I need it in the collection? Because I think most of the time it's, it's, it's been a spendier game, and I'm like, oh, I do have the ability to play it um, with Taylor whenever um, yeah. I'm up there or he's down here. But, yeah, it ended up being on a deal, I think, for um, Miniature Market for, like, $30. And I'm like, well, this is a top 50 game for me. I don't think I can turn down yeah. that type of deal. Yeah. Cause usually I think it's around 50 or more, mm -hmm. um, at least when I've seen it. Um, maybe it's maybe it's only worth $20. <laughs> I don't know. But... I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought it was a solid time to get it, solid deal, because um, I don't think you or Michaela have, I don't think Michaela's played it, and you hadn't played it at the time. Um, so I, I was kind of interested, hoping that maybe one of you would like it, so I'd get to play it and play it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, Taylor kind of has this game, so I didn't really think much about it mm -hmm. um so it's not like one that i was avoiding or getting too excited about it's pretty neutral on it um mm -hmm. it obviously looks great i really love the mm -hmm. the cover of the game okay. and kind of just kind of looking at the board it looked very colorful as well mm -hmm. um so it's always nice when a kind of heavier crunchier or at least what I would think would be heavier crunchier type of euro game right. has some color and great artwork to it 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 is weird because it does still, the artwork still gives a very euro -y yes. feel, but it, yeah, also has a color and tone to it that yes. gives it more of a brightness for a euro. Yeah, yeah, it, it's very, very good looking. I, I would never just look at this and be like, oh, it's an ugly euro game, or this looks old, or anything like that. It, it's very well done. Mm -hmm. um, 
but yeah, then you kind of told me it was kind of dice drafting, dice worker placement type of thing. Mm-hmm. So I was I was interested in that because I do like that those mechanisms. So mm-hmm. um, just above neutral, I would say I was going into this mm-hmm. game. Um, and then obviously we played it and. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, like you said, kind of the uh, dice drafting, trying to see what numbers you want to mm-hmm. win the bids for those uh, cards that are out there to get the mm-hmm. cards you want, but also the colors of dice for what you're going to produce to possibly gain resources or take additional actions or um, later on in yeah. your turn. Like, yeah, gain points or move around the board, which I think is a pretty big part it of the is, game. It is pretty big. Um, some of those locations you can get to are huge, mm-hmm. um, huge points, and I thought that it just all tied together so nicely. Um, just kind of the phases of the round were um, perfectly tied together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would 100% agree. Because, yeah, I, I'm guessing after my first play of this, I was probably at like a 9 or a 9.5. Mm, yeah. Um, cause, yeah I, I can't remember. Maybe the first time we played we might have even played it twice in a row. I mm. don't really remember. Um, but, yeah, I... I love the way it all flows together, and I love the moving around the map part as well, um, yeah. as that ties in there. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, I just really like how it all mm, flows yeah. together. And then, yeah, you've got some kind of mission things you can mm, be yeah. working towards to get yeah. some extra end game points. Um, and yeah, there's little tacked on points of different ribbon colors uh, on the mm, cards. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that that was yeah, needed. It I, feels tacked on, yeah. um, and it doesn't feel overly important. But yeah. um, it adds a little. It adds kind of one extra thing you can kind of yeah. think about if you really don't yeah, know what card you want. Yeah, if the card's just maybe it's not what you need out there, right. and you missed out on some things earlier, maybe get some points here and there with right. that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just. It's a very satisfying game, moving up those tracks to increase those actions. And, mm-hmm. um, not a lot of, like, feed your people type things in here, right. um, mm-hmm. which I am always worried solid. about with these games, but it was mm-hmm. very approachable. Um, so it's probably coming in maybe an 8.5 to 8.75. Oh, nice. Nine, which for pretty least, high for you. I mean, nearly a 9 for uh, a Euro, Euro game, game um, mm-hmm. is, is pretty high, but just the great production and kind of the uniqueness of the dice placement and dice mm-hmm. production all tying together, mm-hmm. um, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess, uh, what did you think of the uh, scoring of those tracks at the end of the game based oh, on for... how close you are to the next person? Uh, that was... It's interesting that if you're, like, way back, it feels like, I'm not gonna get this, so you don't really want to try, but it's mm-hmm. like, well, if you get within, like, three of them, you can still get some points, so mm-hmm. that's interesting. I haven't seen a lot of that. Right. I don't know if I've seen that out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I feel one way or another about that mm-hmm. overly, mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. I think I've only played the set too so i guess i don't remember know how it plays in a you know three player game where how that that scoring might differ a little bit more and maybe makes it even a little bit more interesting but i probably like it more than just second place gets this right or no reward you have to actually fight for it you're not just given it Mm -hmm. um but you don't uh, necessarily get nothing either right and that adds i think a little bit to kind of some of your choices as well it adds another little bit to it where yeah. kind of when you're getting the, the certain colored cards because they have the four different colors that are associated with it um you go up on those specific yeah. tracks so that could also be another thing of oh i don't really know which cards of these that i want yeah. but well you know i need to start catching them in purple because yeah. yeah each track two at the beginning of the game has um different values so oh, yep. you kind of know which one's more valuable points wise at the end of the game so i think that also kind of feeds into it a little bit more as yeah. well yeah but um but yeah i do are there any expansions for this i think there's like a if i remember right i looked once and there's like some small box expansion but i don't know what uh, it actually added so yeah. if it was much so i wonder if the cards and the very limited kind of actual point scoring cards mm-hmm. can be huge um, right. Like you said, you had said to me, if so, don't let someone get all these cards, and then you kind of let me take a few of them. I um, kind of let you get all of them, pretty much. Made the one. difference in the yes. game. Um, 
So I don't know if there's that enough variability in the cards because they yeah. all come out in the game. Yes. Um, so maybe that expansion does add more, and I hope it does. I, um, I don't remember. What, it's very small, so it might not. Because yeah, I, yeah. I could that see would be it the one thing. Yeah. Samey from time to time, kind of knowing what's going to score, what cards are going to come up, and going for some of those, mm -hmm. possibly the same ones from game to game. Yeah. Yeah. I I I, I would agree with that. Um, but yeah, I I think I have enough time in between when I get my yep. plays in so that I don't really remember or mm -hmm. notice that. But yeah, I could see how if you played it a lot, you could have that. And actually, I think this one could be compared to Lorenzo Magnifico because mm -hmm. you've got yeah. the four yeah. different th things of cards, four different colors of yeah. cards, um, and you're kind of drafting them with, um, with dice. different dice. Yeah. Um, and I think I highly prefer this one over Lorenzo, even though... Lorenzo's in the Board Game Geek Top 100. Yeah, where is this? I don't know if I... I feel like it's got to be... It's got to be close. like It's got to be in 200 300. or 300. Yeah, it's probably yeah. in the top 300. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I highly prefer this over Lorenzo as well. It's just mm -hmm. a lot more interesting with the dice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but those are your first impressions. Yes. And kind of my sixth game <laughs> impression <laughs> of Coimbra. Uh, if you want to hear more of our first impressions or see some unboxings, uh, definitely subscribe to yeah. our channel. Otherwise, you can t check out our top 100 like we had mentioned. Um, we've got some interesting, interesting picks, I think, <laughs> for our top 100. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, let us know in the comment below of what you think of Coimbra. Um, does it have the replayability factor? We'll have to see. <laughs> But otherwise, we hope to see you on our next videos, and as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.